And Stephen, the floor is now yours. Let's talk prospects. And this is someone I've been pretty intrigued by based on what he did last season. Uh, some record-breaking stuff with USNTDP. So what's the scoop on Mr. Gabe Perot? So Gabe Perot is a fun player. Uh, last year, he went out and set the record for most points in a single season with the U.S. National Development Team, uh, getting 53 goals, 132 points. He had to pass guys like... Jack Hughes and Austin Matthews, Jack Eichel to go out there and break that record. One of the greatest seasons we had seen um, in the junior prospect from a long time. But there was a lot of concerns where, you know, he had two really good line mates in Will Smith and Ryan Leonard that admittedly he had to rely on a lot. Then you look at his U18 tournament and he was the one that just kept producing. He kept putting points on the board with one of the best players in that tournament too. Anytime he played, he was shining. But there were concerns about sometimes his compete level, his skating. And then this summer, watching him at the World Junior Summer Showcase, it looked like he put a lot of effort to become a better skater. He was a lot quicker. He could start, stop quicker. Uh, he If he got beat in a foot race, he wouldn't just give up. He put in the effort. But then going to Boston College this year, it's like, okay, well, he's going to play with Shockey, Will Smith, and Ryan Leonard again. And on the power play, Add Cutter Goche. Oh my, this line is going to be absolutely stupid good. And it has been stupid good. But when you look at Gabe Perot's points, last year he was the goal scorer. This year he's only got two goals, but he's got 17 points. He's been the playmaker. He's setting guys up. He's looking, you know, last year he would just he would stand around a lot, look for that one timer and score. This year he's the one that's just feeding everybody. He's looking great on the power play. He's looking good in all situations. You know, I still think he's going to need to have a, a really smart playmaker to, to feed him when he gets to the NHL. I still view him as a goal scorer. Um, but the way that we've seen him just kind of play this year as a two-way player, I have no problem penciling him in as a top six player in two years for the New York Rangers. Uh, just a guy who's got so much talent, uh, knows what he's doing with the puck. He's getting better away from the puck, and that's going to become a lot more valuable. 